last week on The Season. Are you serious? That's the way you attack. You gonna be a land shark? You gotta attack. I just realized I didn't bring a TV. It's the house. Been here for a year now. My goal is to get this whole wall filled by the end of the season. So hopefully I'll get that filled up. Here we are. 2018 Ole Miss Rebel. Why are we walking? Why are we walking? Let's go on the ball! Hurry up! Hey, let's go, let's go. Let's get it again. Let's get it again. Ball, ball, ball! Yeah! Yeah! Go, go, Rugs, go! There it is! That's it! That's it! I don't want to watch the defense in survival mode. And I got veterans bending over, and we're allowed that to happen. That's how you end up on the bottom of damn Russian defense. We're not going to live like that, you understand? Get it fixed, Vets. It's on you. Get it fixed. Jordan Ta'amu's home may be over 4,000 miles away from Oxford, Mississippi, but the senior quarterback always holds Ole Miss close to his heart. What's up, guys? Um, I'm here, back on the island, back on the rock for uh, two weeks before I got to go back in June. But I'm out here spending time with family and friends and uh, enjoying the beach, enjoying this uh, spicy ahi boat, and uh, rocking my Ole Miss t-shirt, so howdy toddy. You know, the thing I think that's, that's so special about the islands is just when it, whenever you get there, um, you, you feel the love from the people. The people back home, they're very friendly oriented, they're family oriented. You know, they're uh, right there to welcome you when you come in. Uh, the people are nice, the food is great. Growing up in Hawaii for, your, for our family is um, it's all about the, the family-oriented spirit that's there, the aloha. As soon as I go home, spend time with my family, of course, and then I'm always going out to the beach. It's just awesome to be home. Just wind, ocean breeze flowing through your hair. Just, you just walk around with no shirt. It's the greatest feeling ever. Just being relaxed and uh, nobody cares how you dress, nobody cares how you look. And it's just hanging with the guys and just going hiking all over the place, um, eating great food, great seafood. And uh, who doesn't want to be from Hawaii, so. Let's give a round of applause for Jordan Tamu, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, guys. It's great uh, to be here. Super honored and blessed. And uh, good to be home with family before I go back up this Saturday. Say yeah. fuck. I'm super proud and just representing the island, representing my culture. And I've always told Jordan this, and I'm sure Miss Louisa and, and Mr. Billy have, have told Jordan this, is, is always be humble and, and don't, forget to, don't forget where you came from. At the 2018 SEC Media Day, it was certainly hard to forget where Jordan came from when he and his culture were front and center. Here at SEC Media Days in Atlanta with Ole Miss quarterback Jordan Ta'amu. Growing up in Hawaii, what, what, if anything, did you know about Ole Miss? I want to go into your life, man. You're a Hawaiian yeah. kid. How does a quarterback from Hawaii end up playing over in Oxford, Mississippi? How did you end up in Oxford, Mississippi? I took that junior college route in New Mexico. It's called New Mexico Military Institute. First game through eight touchdown passes. So that's what sparked up um, D1 level eyes. Are you right, give me the exact correct pronunciation. Tom. Tom. Okay, I'm saying Tom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So your last name, so we all can get it right. Tiamu. I would say Jordan Tiamu. I am wrong. Yes. So yeah. just go ahead and just let the world know how to say your name. All right. Tiamu. Tiamu. Yeah. Tiamu. 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 I said Tiamu. Tiamu. Jordan Tiamu. Jordan Tiamu. Jordan Tiamu. Jordan Taalolo Tiamu Perifanos. 
<laughs> that wouldn't fit on the back of the jersey, oh, would it? No, it would not. It would not. I got and another M. right here. Yeah. I'll do the M. You. You. There you go. <laughs> I'm glad I'm writing this down. Before anyone was trying to pronounce Jordan Ta'amu's name, he was a second string quarterback thrust into the spotlight on national television. Hey! 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 Nobody panic! Nobody panic! Just do your job, baby! Just do your job! We're in good shape! Hey! Let's get our tip on going and finish! We're good! We're good! Let's go! So here is Jordan Ta'amu in at quarterback for Ole Miss. I'm like, super nervous, I'm super pumped at the same time, and I'm like, this is really gonna happen, I'm really gonna go in. And I said to myself, this is, the, this is my shot, this is my opportunity, and I'm gonna go make the best out of it. Uh, it was kind of nerve-wracking for us uh, at first, but we knew he can do it. Um, you know, he, he was prepared for his, you know, his whole life for, for, for this. Uh, once I started doing the plays and just going with the flow, everything just started coming natural. And I said to myself, I prepared for this. I'm, I made for this. Uh, I dreamed about this my whole life. I'm going to do what I can to help my team out. Here is a design quarterback run, and look at him go. Jordan Ta'amu and smartly gets out just inside the 20. Let go, Mariota! Mariota! After leading two scoring drives, Ta'amu was handed the keys to the offense, but was unaccustomed to the driver's seat. It's too chilly out here. Not like Hawaii. Huh? You look like an ass. I feel different. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I'm always used to that stuff. Feeling good. Huh? Feeling good because I get to throw to you. Te'amu. 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 Jordan Te'amu. 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 His name's not Tom, it's Mariota. Little Mariota type. Hey, Marcus! Hey, Marcus! I guess this is the life now, I guess. You know what you're gonna say? What do you think we're gonna ask? Uh, how I feel about the starting job and all that, but we'll see. And uh, hopefully I answer everything correctly. I've been uh, getting texts and all that from the team saying that they got my back, and uh, I've been texting them saying I, I got their back too, and I'll give it my all. After dipping his feet in the water, Tamu and the Rebels were looking to dive head first into a new era. And I'm hoping our coach will get this opportunity, you know what I mean? Just take advantage of it. I will. Now put him on the map. I will. You know what I mean? I can do what you're doing, man. So third and four. Yama wants to throw. Quarterback draw. Keeps it straight in the middle. First down and more. Go, Jordan. Go, Jordan. Go, Jordan. Go, Jordan. He's to the 30. He may outrun him. He's to the 15, 10, 5. In the end zone. Touchdown. Oh, miss. Jordan to Amu will trot back on the field and they'll need him to be clutch down the final 214. I mean, we were all just out there knowing that we had to have a touchdown and knowing, you know, what we had to get it done. They knew that they were going to go down and score. They knew they were going to go down and uh, do what they needed to to win that football game. In the huddle, we were saying, we're going to win this game, like, uh, no pressure. I think everybody on the whole sideline had to feel okay. We're, we're about to score here. DK 101 with a little guy like that, I'm like, they got to throw this up. What play call are you going to DK. We have three receivers to the right and then DK to the left 101. I knew my matchup on 101. I knew it was nice. Third down and go. Trip to the right again. DK Metcalf's one on one here, wide left. Touchdown, Ole Miss. It stands for DK Metcalf, the what former try. Oxford Charger. I know he had a really big arm, but like, I didn't even know he was that accurate. You know, one thing I always mess with DK Metcalf about is, hey man, you're, you're, you're the big man, man. Go up and get it. You know, that fade ball gonna come to you. And so it, it comes to him and he gets it and it's a touchdown. You know, you, you can see it and everybody's livid and, and fired up and, you know, things like that is very special that you don't forget. You know what I mean? Those, those moments, you know, rather than, you know, every play in the game, but you just remember those times. As far as Jordan, he's a he's a cool customer. Uh, I knew we had the right guy back there. It was a great turning point for us just to see where he is as a leader, you know, as a guy. Uh, his composure came into play and that, that really helped us. The dude, uh, he's not really an outspoken guy, 
but he's able to um, lead by example. Here you go, buddy. It's my towel. Oh, yeah, anytime. Yeah. Oh, yeah, lighting. Just gotta get that lighting. Yeah. One, two, three. It's just an awesome feeling just to give back to the community because of what the community gave me and the kids mean everything to me. How old are you? Uh, 12. You're 12? Yes, sir. Okay. What, what position are you going to play? Oh, well, I was playing and I played D tackle, but yeah. like now I get my grades up. Yeah. That's why I think about playing football. Exactly. That's where it all starts in the, in the classroom. He's a good young man, and he, he was raised the right way, and he is he's an awesome kid. He was a guy that could always, um, you know, make people feel special around him. I go to class every day, and it starts in the classroom, and uh, it translates on the field. So uh, just keep working harder, right? Sure. All right. Have a good one. <laughs> bye, Mom. Bye-bye. It's a dream come true just to be a, a role model to these young ones, and just, uh, just getting the time to say what's up to them, putting a smile on their face, and that's the main reason why I do this is uh, for the kids and uh, it's all glory to God the reason why I'm here. So, uh, so it's a blessing. Thank you. I know I was little once and I looked up to a lot of guys and uh, the best thing you can do to a kid is just give them advice and that's what I did, so. Good throw. I'm a kid? I could be a quarterback one day, all right? I see it. You guys wanna try on some jerseys? You wanna try on some jerseys? I won't never try on he has a, a great affinity for and, and a great devotion to young people. Oh, that was good. That was good. And it means a lot to me because uh, it gives the little kids at home hope that they can come out here, they can go anywhere they want or dream of and uh, become a starter or become um, whatever they want to be. And just being a great role model to my culture and just being a great model for the kids back home at the island, it, it's just awesome and just going and seeing kids and putting smiles on their faces and just uh, being out here shows them that they can do what I can do and I believe they can do whatever they can. An 11 a.m. kickoff versus the Texas Tech Red Raiders meant that not only the eyes of Texas were upon the Rebels, but also the eyes of the nation. On the first Saturday of the season, Ole Miss would have the spotlight to start the day. Let's go. Lead us, baby. Lead us. Lead us. Let's go. Lead us. Lead us. Let's go. Played a bunch of football before. Lead us. Let's go. Downhill, RBs. Downhill. 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 It's game time, baby. Prime time, game time. Now all the way from Houston to Houston, baby. Let's get it. You know what's going on. We back. Hey, this one's this one going to be special right here. Now is your time! Yeah. Wait on nothing! Make every play you can, play your ass off, get your eyes on your keys. Hey, most importantly, have fun! Let's go! Come on! Let's go! 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 Just like we talked about last night, it's the time to put our life's work on that field. But you know what else? It's the time for talk is over. The time for talking, the time for fear and worry and doubt, it's over. Put it behind you. Because right now, it's time to put the damn ball down. You want to put it down in Oxford? Put it down in Oxford. You want to put it down in Houston? Put the damn ball down in Houston. 11 o'clock in the morning, 12 o'clock at night, it don't matter. So put the damn ball down. Pass out to the far side. It's going to be caught by Lodge. He's Thank you. Go five. Go five. Go five. First down. Already. Let's go. We're going to put seven up fast. Get the ball back. And put seven on. Mississippi is known as the hospitality state. And Mississippi native DK Metcalf would waste no time properly introducing himself. Downfield and caught. Striking quickly. DK Metcalf with the KO blow early. Excellent throw by Jordan Tamu. Puts it out in front. DK Metcalf has to extend his arms, reach out. That's too easy right there, partner. And they raise the belt. NWO, nasty wideouts. Hey, what we do? Oh, hey, what we do? Give them what they want. They paid for this. They want this. We'll give them what they want. The quick strike would set the tone for the Rebels in the first quarter unleashing a red-hot flurry of points from the team in the snowy white uni. All right, Jay Jones. 
Hit one. Here's Jones on a return. Jones on his feet. Nobody to beat. How's that for an answer? 94 on the floor. Touchdown. They ain't going to get to him no more. They tried to get him. They see what happened. They ain't going to get to him no more. He caught that over, man. He, he was smiling when he got there. And that's a bad man. You know where he from, though? He from Texas. You know, we doing this. We Mississippi Mag, but hey, we here now. We here. We in a hard time. We ball. As good as the offense was in the first quarter, it was at its best when faced with a do-or-die situation. Hey! Freddy Chris Bay, let's go! Bay Lash! Run your feet! Fourth down coming up, and one to go. They're going to leave the offense on the field. Come on, Scotty. Come on, Scotty. Come on, Scotty. Come on. Texas Tech was really good in short yarded situations last year. Not this time. Great Jew goalie hit him with the sauce! Mississippi. That's my roommate. That's my roommate, baby. Flag complete. What a catch by Lodge. Hey, and one. And one. And one. And one. Coach scored, I think, on six of seven offensive possessions. How would you feel about the first half? Uh, pretty good. Need to be a little bit more efficient in the red zone. Uh, you know, want to come away with touchdowns, not field goals, but proud of Luke Logan for stepping in there and making them. Thanks for your time. Yep, thank you. Nobody in the outside this building still gives us a chance. You understand that? Hey, but guess what? We're all we got. We're all, all we need. need. Hey, one more half, guys. Hey, give me everything you damn got for one half. Let's go, family on three. One, two, three. Family. Y'all know we didn't play our best in the first half. Y'all know that. Let's give them what they want. Let's give them what the hell they want. And there's a handoff to Phillips, and he's got some room left the middle. 45, 50. If he can beat him, he's gone to the 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Ole Miss. I never see Scotty smile. Now he's smiling, though. And here's a great run by Phillips, bursting up the middle, touchdown. Right out, boy. Right out, boy. Right out, boy. There you go, Phil. There you go. 65 yards for Scotty Phillips. Hey, 2-2, two, two, right out. Right out. Right out. No. Right out. No. Pass downfield, wide open, caught, and in the end zone. Touchdown, A.J. Brown. New Year. New Year. The nasty wideouts strike again. N.W.O. Yeah, let's not, uh, you know, overlook or undersell the fact that Brown is thought to be by many the number one receiver picked in the draft in April. As well as Ole Miss was playing, the defense still had their hands full with a dynamic Texas Tech offense. Run a little receiver screen complete for the first down and then some Wesley Bowman taking a shot here. And a great catch. Who else? The long and rangy Vasher with another first down. Handoff and touchdown Ward. Excellent job with the vision and the ability to cut back against the grain and get his offense a much needed touchdown. They didn't, they didn't earn that. We gave it to him. Get them long looks off your face. Let's go. Hey, that's what we're here for. That's awesome. Heading into the fourth quarter, it was the job of the defense to step up and force the Red Raiders off the field. Just want to let y'all know, hey, they don't score, they can't win. They don't score, they can't win. They can't. It's impossible. Start of the fourth quarter. A 10-point deficit for Texas Tech gambling here on fourth down and five. Bowman up top, contact. No flag, and Ole Miss will take over on downs. Hey, I don't wait, see you. I don't wait, see you. I don't wait, see you. What time y'all smiling? You too ugly and brown. I like it. Good job, baby. 
Third and seven. Bowman into the end zone. Incomplete. He couldn't come down with it. Broken up at the last minute. Texas Tech will have fourth down and seven for the 14-yard line of Ole Miss. There's the snap. Back to throw. Fires near side. Batted down at the five-yard line. A beautiful play. I, I swear to God, that's all people use. I better get every single snap. Although the stat sheet at the end of the day was a thing of beauty for the Rebs, the victory formation and kneel down dictated the most important stat in the ever so sweet category of undefeated in 2018. Got the dub, man. Now we're going back to the best city in the world. Austin, Mississippi, here we come. I'm glad we got the W. And, uh, we got little mistakes, but we got to clean that up and get ready for week two. But right now we're going to celebrate that W. All I got to say, I'm feeling good. Man, great right. win. He ain't going to talk to you. But I'm going to talk to you. Listen here. 22. 200 plus yards. What all can you ask for? Just hand the ball off, coach. We can do it both ways. Yeah. This thing. Yeah. Hey, let's just take it one game at a time, man. We get 12 of these. Let's cherish each and every one of them and take it one at a time. All right, because there's going to be a bunch of things that we got to get fixed. All right, so let, let's, let's have that mindset coming back on Sunday, man. Let's, let's enjoy this tonight, and then let, let's fix the things that need to be fixed, and then let's be even better next week in front of our home crowd. Sure. Let's, hey, that's one thing we need to do a better job is protecting our home turf. All right, let's, let's make sure we got that in our mind. Hey, I love you guys. Great win. Coach.